What's up guys? Today I'm bringing you a video on a Go XLR. I use the Mini, this will work on the regular Go XLR as well. But when I was trying to add my Xbox One into my dual PC stream setup, I had a very hard time finding a video that went over everything that needed to be done. The routing table, the Windows sound control panel, all the wire routing, and so on. So I figured I'm gonna make a video on how I have mine set up and hopefully it'll help you. Um, if you like to swing by my stream sometime to hear how it all sounds, how it all comes together, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Link will be in the description below. So let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in Streamlabs OBS. Music has its own channel. Chat has its own channel. My mic that I use for both PCs and my Xbox Party Chat is right here on its own channel. AKG P220 condenser mic broadcast stream mix which everything that happens audio wise on your stream pc comes through here mic auxiliary 2 is my gaming pc i'll just play a quick sound from youtube on my gaming pc just a ad of course so and then i have my webcam because it has an audio in so it's obviously going to pick up an audio source um i have that muted so it doesn't pick up two sets of audio. So now we're gonna come over to your sound settings. And now I have two instances of Discord for some reason, I don't know why. So to have your music, whatever you use, Apple Music, I use Spotify. So for you to be able to set that to a music channel of its own, you have to have some kind of audio coming through it. So I'm going to launch uh, Spotify here. I'm going to play some music through it. And you can see how it pops up now. So uh, that's some more music come over here. Make sure you can hear it. All right. So there's some uh, music coming through Spotify. Come over here to your output. And you select on music two because that is your music channel. So we're gonna close. We're gonna go back here. Now we're gonna go into the sound control panel. I'm gonna pause Spotify. So now in playback, system is the only thing I have selected for default device. So that is my entire streaming PC system. I come over to recording. The only thing that is set for default device is my microphone that I'm currently using and use all the time. So that's it. You're done there. You want to make sure all your, your, there's no like extra filters added on through windows as well. So we're done there. We're going to close that out. Now we're going to come up to the go XLR routing table and how I have mine routed to work for my dual PC stream and my Xbox one. So here we are on the Go XLR routing table. Again, I have the Go XLR Mini, so I don't have a sample pad to use. My system, which is my streaming PC, is link is ran and routed into my headphones and routed into broadcast stream mix. So anything volume wise, any audio that happens on my streaming PC, meaning alerts or anything, you know, YouTube for that matter, or any other audio I play through my stream PC will be played through broadcast stream mix. Now line in, that is routed through my head to my headphones. Because line in, we'll come back down here to my OBS monitor. Now line in, is my mic auxiliary two channel in OBS. So console, which is my Xbox, it's plugged in through a digital optical audio in the back of my Go XLR and the back of my Xbox. OBS does not have enough audio channels to be able to have my console on a separate line in OBS. 
So I have to control that through my broadcast stream mix because I have the console going to my headphones so I can hear anything happening on my Xbox with my actual normal studio headphones. And then I have the console routed through broadcast stream mix, meaning I can adjust the volume with an OBS on the OBS slider for my console as well. Then I come over here to game. I don't use that. Music is on its own channel with an OBS as well. So I can control the volume independently in OBS aside from the volume slider on Spotify. Then I have chat, which is its own line in OBS. And on my microphone, sometimes I choose to monitor my mic in my headphones. I really don't do that. I have no need to send it to broadcast stream mix because it's, again, the chat mic is on its own line in OBS. Now this is most likely gonna work on OBS and it definitely does work on Streamlabs OBS. Then I have my mic sent to line out so it can be picked up by my gaming PC as well. And then chat mic in my mic, it's so it's sent to, so my microphone is sent to the chat. That's basically how that works. My microphone sent to the chat mic it sounds kind of redundant, but that's how it's got to be routed. So we're going to come back down here. I'm going to show you a few more small things. So click on your speaker down here in the bottom right. You have system. That is your system sounds. Okay. Then you come up here to broadcast stream mix. That's my properties for that. It is broadcast stream mix. And again, as you've seen, I had it routed the way I had it routed in the GoXLR app. So I come over here to chat mic. That's my property is chat mic. Exactly what it's called. And I had my microphone routed to chat mic output through the GoXLR app. Now my chat properties here is also chat. Now I had that routed the way I had it routed and my defaults are set up for discord and Xbox party app through the Xbox companion app. And then my music as well is just set up as the music. And then I set that output through the windows sound settings. So now let me switch cameras so I can go and show you how I have all my wires ran. Okay. Here's the back of the go XLR. You have your XLR cable. That goes to your XLR microphone. You have the line in that comes from the line out on the gaming computer. Now the line out of the gaming computer is split by a 3.5 millimeter audio splitter. One side of that audio splitter goes to my streaming PCs line in. The other side of that comes to the go XLR line in. Then you have a line out of the go XLR to the line in on the gaming PC. Now that allows me to broadcast my microphone to my gaming PC so that I can have in-game chat or you know VoIP or whatever you use it for on your gaming PC. Then we have a USB from the back of the GoXLR, so USB on the streaming computer. Then I have a digital optical audio cable coming out of the Xbox One into the Go XLR. That allows me to hear all my console sounds as well. So that's how I have it set up. Again, Ernst Blowfield on YouTube here. And he goes by Eric, the audio guy on Twitter, made an awesome video on how to set up for dual PC stream. But again, my video also covers this as well. He might explain it a little bit better to you than I did. So go check him out. I'll drop a link in the description below. So there you have it, guys. That's how I have my GoXLR set up for a dual PC stream with an Xbox One. If you're having any problems, any hangups, if you can't figure something out, drop a comment below. I will respond. I will try to help you the best I can. Everyone's use case is a little different, especially with how their PCs are set up. So... As usual, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you need any help, and I'll do my best to get back to you. See you on the next one.